wouldn't want to be a star. I mean, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere without being mobbed by people wanting your autograph. Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to get an ice cream cone without a bodyguard. <laughs> I can't wait to give the money we earned to the mayor so he can give it to the families who need it. Yeah, well, who cares about that? It doesn't affect me any. Eddie, if you were really a Christian, you would care. Aw, uh, you guys think you're so great, don't you? Well, I'll show you. You don't have to be a Christian to sing at a benefit show, you know. That's not what Charity meant, Eddie. Oh, just leave him alone. He never cares about anything. Yeah, well, I don't have to stick around here. You guys don't even know a real pro when you see one. I've got better things to do. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't mean to make him mad, Colby. I just thought that since he didn't care about sharing God's love with others, he must not really be a Christian. Eddie's not a Christian, Charity. Even if he has gone to church before, he doesn't act like a Christian. See, Eddie thinks he's just too cool. He's never going to change. Well, I don't think we should ever think that someone can't change. I never thought my grandpa would ask the Lord into his heart, and he did. That's right, Elizabeth. Changes don't always happen right away. You see, sometimes the Lord has to work in someone's heart a while before that person is ready to change. Sometimes the best thing you can do for someone is to be patient and pray for them. Can we pray right now, Colby? Well, of course, Charity. Okay. Dear Lord, we pray for Eddie right now that you would work in his heart so that he could become a Christian, too. We thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Colby, if you had a friend that wasn't a Christian, what would you do? 
Well, Sam, I think the best thing to do is to show them God's love.